Hello everybody, this is The Witcher 3, number 3, with as you can hear, better microphone. As I've explained on my other videos, the settings went wrong, and I didn't notice. So, prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. That means pretty much nothing. To me, I've forgotten most of the things. Right, I need to talk to... Aha! Talk to Vesemir. Talk. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? Cannot show to Marian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. attending to the birth, and you don't fear the god's wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Leave me be! That's why it's an 18, I guess. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. I forgot my buttons for attack. Neither are you. I'm hoping it's square. Back down now. I can see that. What? I'm dead. Oh, dodge as well. So, yes. That didn't go good. Come on, let's get on with it. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. You know what, I like this game now that it's more violent. That's sad, isn't it? That brawl? 
we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. Far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't. Though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <laughs> This tomorrow, all right? After the audience. That's quite good. I want to know how to do magic. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. 
After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Yeah, it shows promise. Must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that <laughs> chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Too. If time permits, sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia, place of birth unknown, parents unknown, age unknown, all insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Foltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiatel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanzelville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Well, that alliance has been dissolved, irrevocably. 
I killed Letho in Loch Nguyen. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Garrett. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Ah, let's see. That's, I think this one is kind of, I don't like that cheatery pattern or whatever. Although that looks a bit like a dress. I'm going to have to go with this one. How do I choose it? And where do I get dressed? This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. How do I get dressed, my friend? How do I get dressed? A shame I have no time. Is there a dressing room? Is this it? Okay, help. How do I get dressed? Clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Hmm, yeah. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, 
head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Ah, uh, left leg forward. Head down. Chin to chest. Left leg forward. The gentleman will rehearse. Left leg forward, right end on chest. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. And that... Gentlemen will address the Emperor only when asked to, <sighs> and using the appropriate title. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. That's it for this episode, guys. Sorry it's been quite a slow one. Uh, lots of videos, but that's just the way of the game. So, I will hope to see you again later. Goodbye!